Linda and for today's video I'm going to tell you all about why I decided to choose biology as my major and if you're in the same position as I was a few years ago this video might help you out. So let's get started. Um, when I first graduated high school I really had no idea what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to do something like science-y, I knew I was kind of aiming for pharmacy, I just didn't know how I'm going to get there and really like like, I didn't know how I was going to get there and, like, how many years it would take me. Like, when I graduated high school, I was like, oh, I'll do pharmacy. But, like, I never knew when. I never really had a goal. Um, keeping in mind that, like, I am the oldest in my family and out of all of my cousins to go to a university in America. My parents attended university back home and so did my aunts and uncles. So it's like the system was really different and I was kind of, like, the first person that was just like thrown out there and like, oh, you're the oldest, go explore it for yourself. I did make a lot of mistakes along the way and my cousins are learning from those right now. So I'm hoping this video is going to help you out. I didn't even know that you didn't need a degree to go to pharmacy school. Like my dad always told me to do a bio degree just because that's like the back home mentality, I guess. Like you just do a degree. You go to college, you have a degree. You want to do something with that degree, you go to graduate school. With pharmacy, it's a little bit different because there are a lot of people who don't have a bachelor's degree who go to pharmacy school. My school has a pharmacy school, so what I did was I just went to the advisor and I just asked them, okay, what, do, what classes do I need to enter pharmacy school? They didn't let me know, and I didn't even know this at the time, that like different pharmacy schools have different requirements. Some pharmacy schools require statistics. The pharmacy school I was looking at, or that I was advised to look at, didn't need statistics. Um, some pharmacy schools required biochem. Other schools didn't require biochem. I wasn't really planning on taking biochem. My school was big on anatomy. They, Everyone needed anatomy to go to um, pharmacy school, but with a bachelor's degree, you don't need anatomy, and some pharmacy schools don't need anatomy. I mean, I was just... I really didn't know any of this until it was the end of my second year and I was like, okay, it's been two years, what am I going to do? What am I going to take my PCAT? And that's when it kind of hit me. I did a lot of research and I didn't know this, but different pharmacy schools require different things. I mean, yes, all, they all require the same baseline, um, Bio 1, Bio 2, Gen Chem 1. Some schools don't require Gen Chem 2. It was just, it was just a lot of classes and I really didn't know what to do. So um, one thing I do recommend is that if you, whatever you're doing, whether you're watching this video to do pre-pharmacy or doing optometry or doing medicine, I recommend that you work there, that you work at a pharmacy, you work at an optometrist office, you work at a dentist office, wherever it is, I recommend that you work there because let me tell you something, I worked at a pharmacy, I volunteered at a pharmacy before I graduated high school. Um, I kind of shadowed. I don't want to say volunteer. I basically shadowed. I couldn't really do anything. I learned two things, and I learned that there's fast movers, which like everybody knows if you've ever worked in a pharmacy. And I've also learned uh, there's something called a brand name and a generic name for the same medication. After I went into college, I didn't really... I started my first semester, and I didn't want to commit to anything. I didn't want to commit to a job. I didn't want to commit because... Um, like going from college to high school it's a big transition and I came from a super small school and I went to a huge university and like I said being the oldest in my family like that was already enough of itself and so I started volunteering at the local hospital and I worked in the lobby pharmacy so I worked there for about eight months it was a very small pharmacy I want to say it was about the size of this room it was like such a tiny pharmacy and most of the people who came in were like patients who were picking up medications, but also doctors, like doctors filled their prescriptions in this pharmacy. It was super small and I felt like I wasn't really getting the full pharmacy experience. So about eight months of volunteering there, I quit and I went to a retail farm. I worked there for about two and a half years. I changed my major a lot of times and I thought a lot about pharmacy during this time period because I didn't really enjoy what I was doing. My mom, she's amazing, and she's like, Linda, you don't need to work at a pharmacy to be a pharmacist. You can work so many other places. You need that degree. Yes, the degree is important. My mom, like, she knows people who are pharmacists who don't necessarily work in a pharmacy. She knows doctors who don't do physicals and checkups and what you would think a doctor would do. 
So um, that like really motivated me and that was like, okay, I'm still going to do this. I'm sticking to pre-pharmacy. But I want to call it like my college life crisis. It was um, between my second and my third year, which is when I realized that different pharmacy schools require different things. That's when it really hit me that like, uh-oh, I'm not taking enough classes or I might need to take more classes. So that summer, um, I was taking Calc 1, and all pharmacy schools basically require Calc 1. A bio major required Calc 2, and I told myself, like, if I do a bachelor's, it's going to be a bachelor's of science, because a bachelor of arts is like, you're almost there, but you're not. I was like, if I'm going to do any kind of bachelor's, especially in biology, it's going to be a bachelor's of science. So for a bachelor's of science, I needed to take Calc 2, and one of my friends who was in Calc 1 with me was like, come on, take Calc 2, and I was like, you're an engineering student, of course you're going to need Calc 2. What am I going to use Calc 2 for? Come on. Like, I was so happy to be done with math at this point, let alone take another math class. You know what, whatever, I'll just take Calc 2. And from then, that's really when I started taking cell biology. That's when I started taking genetics. That's when I started taking, like, like focusing on my major more than focusing on pharmacy. Because I knew that once I have this bio major, I can apply to so many schools. and. I didn't want to go through the application process more than I had to. I kind of want to meet all of these requirements with my bio degree. Let me tell you something about a bio degree. Um, it was a lot of work and I saw one thing that really like was really heartbreaking and it was kind of like that ugh, moment when you're kind of like, why am I doing this? And I had that happen to me a lot of times. Um, I saw my friends without bachelor's degrees get accepted in pharmacy school and here I am taking bio classes. That was like really hard for me because I was like, I was in your bio class two years ago. I was with you in Orgo 1 two, three years ago and now you're in your first year of pharmacy school. Well, now you're in your second year. Like it really made me reconsider what I was doing. I was like, why am I doing this degree? I'm taking like biochem. Well, they never took biochem and they're doing okay and they're in pharmacy school. They're, I'm taking like evolution and they didn't even need to take evolution like evolution is one of those classes that's not required but here I am sitting in evolution learning about different species when I want to go learning about different pills like honestly I would have to say that was really hard for me now that I'm done and I'm planning on going to pharmacy school do I have to say it's worth it yes I think it is um I don't know how this is going to help me in the what I do start one day but like honestly I feel like if you're in my position and if you are stuck and you're where I was a couple years ago and you're like should I continue with my bachelor's should I do my bachelor's why should I do it when like when should I do it um if you're at that like I want to say college life crisis and you don't know what you're doing I highly recommend you do the bachelor's degree that way you can apply to many pharmacy schools it's going to be hard and you are going to take classes you don't need I took language classes I took history classes, I took so many random classes that I don't need for pharmacy school. Like, I honestly took maybe like 40 more credits that I don't need and I took them for farm. I took them for this degree. Um, but I think pharmacy school sees that and I think they honestly like respect the fact that you're coming in with someone who has way more credits. I mean, so you both have a 3.5 but you have a bachelor's degree and you've taken 120 credits and they've taken like 90. I mean, if I was an admission person, I would highly favor the person who took more credits because they're coming in with more knowledge, they're coming in with more science classes. Or Something else I want to tell you guys is during my second and third years, um, I saw people who were getting rejected and they had like 3.8s and 3.9s. and. These people were incredibly smart and I looked at myself and I'm like, I'm average. Like, let's be real, I'm average. I'm not super smart over here. If they're getting rejected, what is what am I going to do? Personally, I feel like don't, if you hear of those stories, if you know of anyone who has a great PCAT score, who has amazing grades and they do get rejected, don't let that bring you down. Don't let that affect you. Um, don't compare yourself. I did that a lot during my undergrad and like I wish I didn't because you compare yourself with really smart people and you're just going to get hurt. So don't do that to yourself. If you see someone who's really smart and maybe they got rejected, don't don't 
let that affect you because you're your own person you have your own story you've been you have your own experiences maybe they didn't have enough pharmacy experience maybe you do maybe you have a better story maybe your admission person was just having a bad day like you there are so many factors that can contribute to it that you that don't let this put you down don't let this bring out the worst in you if you guys have any questions about pharmacy schools or um more of why I did my bachelor's degree. I really hope this answers the question, why did I do biology? And let me tell you, I did biology and not chemistry because I was, like biology was just always interesting to me. But chemistry, like I said, with math, I had enough when it came to Calc 1, let alone Calc 2. I didn't want to deal with any more math. Um, I was thinking of doing a chemistry minor, but I realized I just wanted to leave undergrad and I just wanted to continue and like that's also another question why should I would you do a minor um it really depends on you but for me I was like I think my my bio degree was enough work it was a lot a lot a lot of work and it took me five years I think that's one of the reasons why it took me five years and it took most people four years because I came in without a plan I came in just like oh I'm gonna go to pharmacy man I recommend that you sit down with your parents and if you can, create some kind of plan. I came in with no AP credits, just to let you guys know. Um, I came in as probably like the average, most average student, and it all turned out to be okay. So um, if you're in my position, if you are where I was a few years ago, and you're thinking, like, how smart do I need to be? Do I need a 3.9 GPA? Do I need to ace on my science classes yes i mean you do need to do good in your science classes but don't let other people bring you down and not just other people other people don't compare yourself to others and do what you can do do your best and then aim for the best and apply and just hope for the best um if you guys want more videos like this let me know and if you have any questions let me know, and I hope to see you guys later. Bye-bye.